Hey everybody, Steve from Open Bomb, and uh, welcome. Today's video, we are going to take a look at change management in Open Bomb. Specifically, an introduction to change management and the basic components of what comprise change management in Open Bomb. And there's really three of them. And uh, let's take a look. They are uh, items and bombs and revisions of items and bombs. So revisions are you know the the, the foundational element of change in Open Bomb. And, We'll learn more about that maybe in other videos. The change request. The change request is a wrapper around a revision. The result of an approved change request is a revision. The change request uh, begins to give us that approval and visibility and control around revisions. And we'll see how that works in just a moment. And then, of course, the change order, which can be a collection of change requests and gives you more of a batch processing to approve and reject a group of changes. You know, you may think of this like an ECO. So again, this is meant to be an introduction. So uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of things in particular. Um, the demo data that comes with your OpenBOM account has a wireless router in there. We see that in a lot of videos. And in that router, there is a, um, a circuit board. And in that circuit board, there is a bracket. So I'm taking a look at this bracket right here. And, and uh, I'm looking at the latest, working the latest version of this board. And I'd like to make a change to that, maybe the price change or, or something else. So I'm going to visit that item in uh, the catalog. And it's right here. And I'm going to, um, I see that I don't have any revision. I'm going, to make, I'm going to make a revision. So let's take a look at the item revisions, create a new revision. We're going to just call that Rev A. And I've created a revision that has whatever change I made. Uh, to that item is it is in that revision so let's go back to the bill of material and take a look we see that uh, that item has a rev a okay okay great so that's how re uh, revisions of items kind of flow into the bomb now let's let's think to ourselves okay let's make a revision of the bomb terrific let's create a new revision of this i know that i've already had a, a couple of, of revisions of this bomb so i'm going to call this bomb the rev the rev d of the bomb and I can say, hey, look, let me look at the Rev C. Well, I see the Rev, the Rev C of the bomb had the earlier stamp and the Rev D of the bomb had uh, the later stamping that's currently Rev A. So that's how revisions flow, flow up into bills of material. That's just straight revisions. If we want to do, start now turning on change management, we're going to do that. First, we jump over to our company management settings and we turn on change management. And we save those. So let's go back to, let's say to our, um, let's go back to that same item. And now we've turned on change management, maybe around that, uh, for that same bracket. We want to maybe make another change to it. Only now my company has change management turned on. So here we go. We're going to make an item revision. We're going to see a, some new UI. Instead of create a revision, I see a button here that says create change request. Oh. Terrific. I'm going to make a change request to that. Maybe I want it to go to Rev B. Terrific. So I've submitted that or created that chain re change request. It now exists over here and myself or another one of my colleagues that's on the approval list can approve or reject that. So let's just go ahead and approve that change. We see that a Rev B is, is created. And if we were to look up in our, in our, uh, our bill of material, we'll see that that bracket has, I'm gonna have to look at the latest one, that in the latest version there, we now have Rev B. Okay, terrific. So we understand how change requests work. If you approve it, you basically get the revision. Now the final thing that we're interested in is let's look at what a change order is. And for that, we're gonna go back to the dashboard. There's a new area in the dashboard called changes, and you're gonna see you have some new change orders. Approve, uh, open, rejected, etc. Let's create a new change order. And uh, this is going to be for my, my video demo. And I, so I've got a new change order here available to me. Now let's go create some changes and put it on that order. Really good. So let's, let's walk back to our bill of material and let's create a new change order, change request for that bill of material. Terrific. Maybe I'm going to roll this up. Maybe this is going to Rev E. I'm going to put that on change order four that we just created. And I'm going to go ahead and create that change. 
and as I come back here and look at change order four, I see that there's one change request on there. Okay, that's nice, but you know, let's let's do another. Let's go back and look at this at this molding right here, and let's create a revision for that. Maybe something changed there. I changed the material or something. I create a change request on that. That one's going to be going to Rev B. I'm also going to put that on change order number four. Fantastic. Now I see that I've got a Rev B change request kind of pending. Now I can approve or reject that right here as a single change request or back here on my dashboard, I can see that my change order four has a number of change requests on it. So you're kind of getting the hang of this. There's a number of change requests that, that, can, be, uh, that can be on there. So now I've kind of got these together. I go through a change control board at my company. I say, let's approve that, that entire change order. I get a little list here about what's going to happen. And, and there we go. That revision has been um, created. That change order has been approved. And as, of, as I look back at these, all the items that are on there, I can see that I've created um, those individual revisions for those um, for that bomb and for that item. So I hope you find that useful. We're going to come with a few more videos that take a much deeper dive into in the individual aspects of that. But that's the that's the uh, the top level view of items and bombs from revisions through change orders. Um, always love to hear from you at supportedopenbomb.com. Thanks.